Hello everyone, this is Jay Prakash. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, Big Data Hands-On Training. So in this video, we are going to see how to incrementally append the data into our uh, uh, HDFS uh, uh, data. I mean, uh, HDFS file. So we in, in our previous video, we have seen how to control the input parameters so that we can uh, uh, decide the output file so we have used a bounding values query to control the output so in this video we are going to append without uh, overwriting uh, the existing data so let's start so before that let's see what is in, what is in our mysql so um, let's describe the orders table so order id is our primary key So let's go back into our scope terminal. Let's use the same syntax and uh, rest all remains the same. Let's change the boundary conditions. Let's take it from 3001 to make it as 4000. And uh, in order to do the appending and uh, incremental appending we need to add some more uh, input parameters so let's do append this is the first um, input parameter then incremental Append. so this incremental uh, will do incremental append so we have to mention the last last value so in the previous query the last value is 3000 so we have to mention that and we need to mention the check column too so before the last value we, to, uh, we need to mention the check column so on which field you have to check the last value and then append it so check column is in quotes we need to give the check column which is order id so that's the key and uh, that's the one its order ID so these are all the parameters we need to keep in mind to do an incremental append so this time we are controlling the boundary query by select you know 3001 comma 4000 initial values 3001 and maximum values 4000 from the orders table we are appending the existing table and we are incrementally appending it so checking the column order id and the last value is 3000 so now we are going to insert the uh, mean append the existing file in hdfs from records 3001 to 4000 and all the rest of the parameters remains the same so hitting an enter from here it will prompt for the password by default give cloud error i think the password is wrong yep the password is wrong cloud error is the password this time i did it right yes now the map ready job gets submitted and started executing so boundary value query will execute and um, it will take number of splits is 10 from 3001 to 4000 and boundary value select 3001 comma 4000 from order so means um, minimum value is uh, of order id is 3000 and maximum value of order id is 4000 and there will be 10 jobs um, in, uh, submitted 
I mean this um, there will be 10 mapper task will be submitted in a sequence and data will be appended so let's wait for some time So the map release job is executing. It is taking some time. So you know number of splits is 10 that is being controlled from our input uh, parameter minus m10. So in the meanwhile, let me log in into Scoop to um, documentation. If you can. I will, you know, strongly recommend you to go into the scoop documentation and try to execute everything one by one. You can see all the commands present over here and try to execute everything. So, from seven scoop import starts. So all these things all these parameters everything have a detailed description so i'm not i'm not too sure how much i'm going to cover in my tutorials but i'll be covering all the very very important stuff but i but but still there will be a lot of other things in the documentation i would recommend you to go and try each and everything over here so avro data file i covered sequence text boundary query columns uh, we can select what are all the only columns you need in the output using direct import fast path it is much more faster so you can control the split size you know how much size should go in each of the split num minus m or minus minus num mappers so both are same i would recommend you know all these all this information you know comparison compression of what kind of compression code occur available in scope you can directly go over go and uh, google all these things i would strongly recommend you to just go and uh, read the tutorial and keep on practicing everything to get stronger let's come back to yes the job is executed it has retrieved the thousand records so incremental up append using the check column id and last value is 6 to 3 is what is mentioned but the last value should be 4000 but let's check what really happened output controls output if you could see it has executed from 10 to 19 so let's see what is the value in 10 first value 3001 let's see what is the value the last partition last record in the last partition it should be 4000 not more than that yes that's exactly ex 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 extracted until 4000 so so this is it guys for this video if you like please go and like my youtube channel like my videos please share to all your friends and uh, most importantly subscribe thank you so much we can meet in our next video